I'm going to set the intro and extra timings on a song in this video. Firstly, it is uh, good to know which audio output is going to be used for any editing. To check this, go to Settings, Media Engine Settings, and look at the output device for the edit audio device. On my system, this is set to be my Myriad Playout Fader 4. Uh, if you do change anything here, you will need to restart the application for it to take effect. OK, we're going to uh, set the details on this item. And there are uh, various ways of opening the media item for editing. Right click, you've also got the edit button in the home tab of the ribbon toolbar or by going to the edit tab and choosing an option from there. I'm going to open up the details only as I don't actually need to edit the physical audio. And the editor window comes up and on this actual file, I don't have a preview waveform to look at. So what I'm going to do is click on that refresh icon to force one to be created. Great, we now have our preview waveform. I'm going to remove the titling information as I don't need to see that. And then that way I can focus solely on the audio and my markers. We're going to set an intro end, which is the point at which the vocal starts. To do this, I'm going to click on the play button just above intro end and the audio will start to play. I can then move down to the main intro end box and left click on this when I think that point is. Once set, I can check the point by clicking back on the play icon and then using the nudges up and down the timeline to fine tune it. Good, good. Happy with that? Let's move on to the extra point. This is the point in the file where if in automation I'd like the next item to start or if in live assist, it would be a good point to start talking if you haven't started already. I'm actually going to select Auto Extro and see what it's chosen and then I can tweak it from there. Let's go, let's go back a bit, zoom in and have a little listen and then click the Extro box at the point that I want it. Every time I think of you OK, that's set. And I want to just make sure my ending type is set to ends, as that's how it ends. So clicking on titling to bring that back up, make sure ends is there. Now let's set a hook for the song. This is the main chorus or part of the song, which can be used to tease the listener as to what is to come. Let's find that bit. going to open it to full editing to enable me to see the exact waveform better and tweak what is currently selected. When I'm happy, I can click on play hook to play just that only and hear how it will be. Okay, let's save that and I can show you how the hook could be used. You can see a hook icon on the media item now on the media wall. Let's load up the pad and play it from there. You can also see a green rounded square with media OK message to show that an extra point has been added. I'm going to make a pad list of a little sweeper, the hook of the song, and then into a promo. Drag them all in and then choose in the pad to play hooks only. If no hook has been set, then the whole item will play. You can see the duration of the song change as I turn on playing the hook or not. I'm going to send it to one media player and you can hear how it will sound. 
In the next 30 minutes, 30 minutes, in the next 30 minutes, you'll hear. UK Hot 10, based on airplay across.